All right, today we're gonna to be unboxing a Palmetto State Armory PA-15 AR pistol. This particular uh, AR pistol is chambered in 5.56 by 45. So you're gonna have a bag over here. And in the bag, you'll get one Magpul P-Mag Gin M2 30 round magazine. These are polymer mags. Uh, probably some of my favorite ones right here. You also get a Palmetto State Armory branded lock. A PSA pistol series manual. So um, this is, you know, pretty much a, it's a basic manual, but it does have lots of uh, pictures and descriptions on uses and functions, troubleshooting tips. Um, yeah. And you also get a Palmetto State Armory logo. So the gun's gonna ship in this uh, cardboard box with uh, you know the foam padding on the top as well as the bottom. Let's take a look at the pistol real quick. So like I said, this particular one, and they, Palmetto's got a lot of different variants. Um, so, you know, this one, you know, in, in a lot of ways, maybe similar to one that you're looking at, uh, but in a lot of ways, it, it may be different too. Uh, but yeah, this particular one is chambered in 5.56. Five, and it is a pistol with a pistol brace. And the brace that's included is the CAC Industries Shockwave. And it's a blade style pistol brace. And it is adjustable, uh, but not on the fly. You'll need a tool to adjust it. So you'll just need the, an Allen key right there. And then you'll basically unscrew that, set it where you want it. And then you have these, uh, these dimples in the, uh, let me see if I can get that, the buffer tube that you'll basically take that Allen screw and screw those, screw into those dimples. And that'll be the locking piece. In the back here, the end plate, you're gonna have two points where you can attach a sling. You're gonna have a mil spec charging handle. Pretty much most of the, uh, the, the parts on here are gonna be mil spec. You'll get a, uh, you know, your typical mil spec mag release. Then you'll get a mag pull trigger guard. And so it's not, uh, you know, that's not a mil-spec part, which is nice because that mil-spec one just goes straight across. So that's a nice addition to have there. Uh, Palmetto recently, uh, maybe in the past year or so, has been uh, using these enhanced polished triggers. All the internal mechanisms are polished. I'll uh, get a good view of that. Let me take out this flag. So there's the internals there. Yeah, so the faces of uh, some of the, the pieces are gonna be polished in there. I, I have this, uh, this particular trigger installed on most of my personal ARs, and uh, I love it. I love the feel of it. it uh, it's a really nice feeling one, feeling, you know, trigger as far as mil spec goes. Uh, there's your bolt catch bolt release right there. And you're gonna have mil spec upper and lower. And those are both gonna be made of 7075 T6 aluminum. There's that. 
then that bolt carrier in there that's going to be made with carpenter 158 steel and palmetto does uh, mag does do magnetic particle inspections on all of the bolts they don't have the stamping on the bolt carrier uh, but you know mo most people aren't concerned with that they're mainly concerned with having the bolt uh, have an MPI stamp on it uh, you're gonna have QD points attach points on the handguard on both sides this is gonna be uh, a nine inch handguard here and uh, it's their they, they call it the lightweight variant um, it is pretty light it's a uh, it's an aluminum handguard you got uh, M lock on the sides as well as on the bottom then the top you're gonna pick a tinny spanning all the way across the upper as well as the handguard and this is gonna be a ten and a half inch barrel with a carbine length gas tube and the threads up there are going to be half by 28 it's going to come with that a2 flash hider that bird cage overall pretty nice you know palmetto uh, they get a lot of crap for and i think it's more because people view the price as low quality but uh you know that i love palmetto uh, uppers lowers you know they're full-size guns they do uh they do a great job Customer service as well is is also very easy to work with. And it does come with a staked castle nut. And the barrel, the barrel is going to be a 4150V chrome molly vanadium steel. And it is a carbine uh, profile barrel. And we're all pretty nice. All right, if you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comment section. Thank you for watching.